take it again from the top. Is it recording? I think so. You think so? I know so. Oh, well, it is recording now. Yeah. But earlier, at about the eight second mark, it stopped. Oh, did you forget to do the thing? Yeah, when no. it extends it to mm -hmm. beyond whatever the hell mm -hmm. the meaning of life is. But now I think we're good. All right. Issue 89. 89. A comic centric? 88? I, I don't know. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> the whole lost episode thing kind of screwed yeah, me Yeah, that threw it the other way. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. that's why I oh, see my stomach going doing mm -hmm, that weird mm -hmm, thing again. Mm -hmm. If I disappear for a moment, people <laughs> tell me, just know it's to take a massive dump. Oh, see, so don't tell people that. No, tell them that. Don't tell but them. But what if I disappear? Like, where did he go? Where yeah, did he you go? You could just pause it. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> they don't need to know. I could just pause it and be like, "With the magic of uh, audio <laughs> like editing, twenty minutes later, <laughs> <laughs> twenty minutes later, I'm still in the bathroom. Uh, Hold on." Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good times. I'm, I'm, it's uh, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. And welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> See how I did yeah, that? Yeah, good job, good job. Editing. Yeah. So. <laughs> 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 I had something and I forgot. Oh, no. and I oh you know what I watched? Well, I kind of half watched it. I fell asleep. Um, that Batman Christmas special. What you did? Yeah. You fell asleep. I fell asleep through it though. It was. It was. It was. Uh, no. It was alright. Like it was very experimental. Uh huh. Um, fucking Luke Wilson was Batman, uh -huh. which was like weird. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> And not even oh wait no wait wow you know, it was the other one Luke Wilson. yeah man and yeah. he was just doing his, he, he wasn't doing the Batman voice it was no. just Luke Wilson it's just his, his voice yeah are, are you mean uh, what is it the big guy fucking star oh fucking stripes stripes and shit yeah, <laughs> stripes yeah, yeah. yeah he was just dude, he was Luke Wilson and then uh, all right all right uh, he was he was an older Batman uh -huh. he had a beard oh, okay he had, he, our our good friend Chicano Batman loves that because you know. <laughs> You know, he's a bearded Batman himself. He's a bearded Batman, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was all right. <laughs> I'm putting it in the back burner, maybe on Christmas yeah. with the family. It, it was okay. It was very, like, well, because I didn't realize it's, yeah. it's based on, like, this, like, little kid's book. I guess, like, this. A Batman, like a, like kids, a, like a, a Batman kid's book? Yeah, like a children's book. Uh -huh. But the children's book is, like, 12 pages or whatever, and they made a whole, like, 40-minute movie out of it. So there's Batman kid's books? No, no, it's, it's a Batman kids Christmas book. It's called Bat Kid or Little Batman or something. Like, uh -huh. yeah, it's like Little Gotham guy or no, no, no. It's like a little, like a legit, like children's book, like, like a, a puppy, little puppy. Yeah, puppy, yeah, 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 yeah. Golden books, like a yeah. golden book. Yeah, sort of, sort of. Yeah, yeah. That's weird. When you think of children's books, do you think Batman? Yeah, but it it very it it so, so the whole thing is basically like yeah, it's Batman and Damien. Okay. Okay, and Damien wants to be a superhero, oh. but Batman is retired mm -hmm. because he got rid of because he found out that Talia was pregnant. Uh huh. So he cleaned up Gotham. <laughs> and, and this is a child's book. Yeah, right? yeah. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> he found out that he was you know, going to have a kid, uh -huh. so he cleaned up. Gotham. So there's no crime in Gotham. Okay, spaghetti theory. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's no crime in Gotham. And uh, Damien is like, like I want to be a crime fighter. And he's like, there's no crime to fight, kid. Like you know, like you know, like does Batman wear outfits of those bad guys? And no, he just kid. Uh, no, he just fucking he he's not Batman. He's just like you know, like Bruce Wayne. Okay. He's, he's like, and then something happens, mm -hmm. and there's an emergency, and uh, the Justice League call him mm -hmm. as Batman. And, and they're like, hey, we need you to do this, deal with this thing. And he's just like, Ugh. and he's like, he doesn't want to do it because mm -hmm. it's like Christmas Eve. Okay. <laughs> he goes out to do it. Mm -hmm. And Damien's pissed off because he wanted to go with him. He's like, oh, I can't come with me, kid, right? And he goes, and then like, he gets stuck. He gets stranded. And then Christmas Eve, the villains decide, we're coming back, and we're stealing Christmas. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So Damien has to, like... Suit up. Suit up, and yeah. Become Little Batman? Yeah. Not Little Robin. No, he's little Batman. Batman. He's Little Batman, yeah. I think I've seen that. Yeah. It came out a long time ago. No, it just came out. It just came out a couple weeks ago. Because I seen that. I remember yeah. that whole little Damien wearing the the thing. It's too big for him, or yeah. right? Yeah, it's like he's got a special suit. Yeah. Like the whole thing. It's it's yeah. They made a whole movie. Out whole of movie. It. Look, forty five minutes movie. <laughs> Again, when you think of children's yeah. specials, 
Especially not Damien. I mean, and this is, this is a, boy, he's not, he's Damien, but like, he's not Damien. Like, you're like, he's What's just like, fuck? he's like, like this goofy kid and like, he's just like, like, yeah, he knows how to fight and stuff, uh-huh. but he's not like the comic book Damien. He's not the fucking, Blood like, thirsty, yeah, no, no, no. fuck you up. No. He's just like a like Hang a out with a cow, Damien. Like he's like, no, he's like he's like a goofy kid, yeah. and he, like he he can jump around, and he knows how to fight a yeah. little bit, and like, and he wants to be everyone's best friend. No, but the thing is, like he's little, like he's supposed yeah. to be like I don't know, like five or six years old, like he's supposed to be really little. What the fuck? And like, um, yeah, he's just fucking around, like like, like dance the menace, everything, like mm-hmm. it's it, it, it's weird. And then oh, like uh, at the beginning of the movie, he's chasing the cat, right? He, they have a cat, and you know, right. And the cat's name is Selena. No. Right? Yeah. Merry Christmas, Selena. Mm-hmm. And then Alfred is like super fucking old and it's like, that's a running joke. And mm. like, you know, like, he's like, oh no, he can't reach that. Or like, oh, he's an old, you know, man. Like yeah. He's a butler who can't yeah. butler. Yeah. Butler? Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's, it's, you know. So does like Bruce love the cat more than he loves it? No, life? just the cat's just there. Like uh, the, the, Damien fucks with the cat a lot. Like, he's always chasing it, and you know, like it's weird. I would think you know, Bruce yeah. loves that cat more. Yeah, than yeah. There's, there's this great line though, mm-hmm. where like uh, when he, he has to leave, he gives Damien like a list of like emergency phone numbers, mm-hmm. and he goes, "What happens if this happens? Who do you call?" And he's going on a list, and he goes, and he's like, "Oh, he's like, he goes, oh, I call poison control, I call whatever, right?" And then he goes, "What happens if the if super villains return?" And then Damien's like, I call Commissioner Gordon. He's like, why? He'll just call me. <laughs> like, <he's> like, <laughs> <laughs> bum, bum, bum. That's funny. Yeah. So what does he do? Nothing. Like, he just goes and fights. <laughs> so, I mean, he has a list. It tells him what he does. So yeah. come back. Yeah. What, what does he do? He doesn't do it. I don't know. They never answer that. They never answer that? They never, they never tell you what, no. what he's supposed to do? He just suits up and he goes to fucking fight crime. Well, are you sure it didn't say to suit up? I don't think it did. Go beat some shit up? Go beat some shit up. <laughs> I mean, for a five-year-old. Yeah. And it's fucking weird. Right? He's five years old. Yeah, he's like five years old. He's a little kid. Fighting up grown-up villains. Mm-hmm. But they're all, and the villains are all old. Like geriatrics? Yeah. Like an old Joker in a, with a walker. He's all old. He's all hunched over. Oh. Like the penguins on a fucking rascal. Like, <laughs> Shaped like a duck? No. Oh. That was amazing. Oh. And they're all old. Oh. Like Bane is all wrinkly. Yeah, it's weird. It's a weird movie. Did the book have him like that as well? I don't know. I've never seen this book. Oh my goodness. During the credits, they show you the pages of the book, and I'm like, oh, interesting. And then I looked it up, I'm like, oh, this book is a real thing. Like, Who created it? Some dude. I don't know. Some dude. We got to get this dude yeah. fucking in here and be like, dude, what's that? What the? <laughs> dude, what the fuck? <laughs> This is for kids. It's for kids. It's a kids book. You have so many fucking DC people to choose from. Yeah. Why Batman? I get it. He's the biggest thing. Kids like Batman yeah. or whatever. You know. Mm-hmm. Why do kids like Batman? Because he's Batman. It's easy, <laughs> easy to say. I guess. Superman. <laughs> There's so many syllables. Yeah, Batman is Batman. Yeah. Batman. You know. That's true. That's true. That's, uh, but again, you have so many. Yeah. Better here. Why not a Flash? A Flash one would make more sense. It'd be interesting. Right? It'd be interesting. You know, kids like the Flash. Do they? I mean, that's what Justice League taught me. <laughs> the kids like the Flash. Yeah, and they're like looking ultra human yeah, at, at the at, end. At yeah. the <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, he was dancing right, the duck. He was yeah. like, <laughs> I've upgraded him. I yeah. made him tell you stories so you could fall asleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That was a good episode. Oh yeah, Christmas episode. Yeah, and then, and then uh, John Stewart takes Hot Girl to like a bar or something in mm-hmm. space. <laughs> Hot girl takes us yeah. and goes, Why do you come here every year mm-hmm. just to fuck shit just up? Fuck shit up. So, one time a year, you get to decompress. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I think December should be the time for decompressing. Mm-hmm. It's the end of the year. There's nothing left, you yeah. know? But it's the contrary. It's the most stressful time yeah. of the year. It's the most expensive time of the year. Oh, live, man. Exactly. Everything is, just, you know. Everything goes up in price. Everything's chaotic, man. Yeah, everything's chaos. No. Superman takes John's. To the Kansas. He, yeah, he takes him much of to the yeah. The Kansas. Yeah. That was a good one. That was fun. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, too much, uh, too much home American goodness <laughs> in that episode mm-hmm. that I really wish it was true. You know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. put it that way. So what is it? No one goes out here without a president. They give him a big clutter. It's too big for him, and he just. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that tells me it was supposed to be Clark's. Yeah. You know, yeah. but yeah. you know. I love Kansas. I love that whole thing too when he's all like. Uh, when they're like, oh, we had to uh, wrap it in lead because he kept sneaking, you know, the gifts. And he's like, you know what I mean? The gifts Santa brought. <laughs> I was like, Superman, you know. You get serious about it. Yeah, you don't yeah. fuck with his traditions. 
Are you, are you reading the the the, the Super Batman Santa Claus thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be two parter. Oh, it's like three. Oh, three or four, I think. When I got to him, like, mm, they're gonna put more on this shit. <laughs> what the fuck? They have to, man. I was hoping it'd be a no, one and done. No, never, dude. man. Oh, anyway, that was uh, unexpected of you. Yeah. Anything, yeah. Yeah. Crap is in everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Why not? Because you know, gotta give Santa Claus something to fight. Oh, you know what I watched? Because uh, I watched a Christmas special right now. It's really mm. weird. Like, I feel like that hasn't been a thing for a while. Mm. So, remember that movie, The Bad Guys? The one with the, the, the cartoon with the wolf and the snake? Yeah, excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. They did a Bad Guys Christmas special on Netflix. A Christmas special with everybody? But it's not the cast. It's like, like oh. the sound alikes. Oh, they're Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, them yeah. Panda eating. And, them. um... It was pretty good. Like it was, it was yeah. a little distracting because like some of the voices were like, "Oh wow, <laughs> right?" Uh, it was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, but there's this whole gag where um, they uh, they what they call the whole thing is they love Chris's because people are are out shopping mm. and then they can rob them. Rob them when they're shopping. Yeah. Wait, so this is a prequel. Yeah, it's because it, the whole bad guy yeah. thing is because they're good they guys. Make them good, yeah, it's a prequel. And so then the whole thing is like. Um, but then they fuck up Christmas because there's a, there's a big balloon shaped like Santa Claus, mm. and they accidentally like, destroy it, and everyone's like, "You killed Christmas, you know, Christmas spirit, right?" So then, so then they decide, okay, we need people to celebrate Christmas, so we can steal, so from, we them. Can steal from them. So they essentially start giving gift. They steal from the department stores to give gifts to these people. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's like this whole thing. But at uh-huh. the end of the thing, they kind of do, you know, they, they save Christmas yeah. somehow, and then. Um, and then what's it called? They go back to the, the their lair or whatever, and they're like, like, oh, and they, oh, they can't go rob because they all got sick. Oh, what the fuck? COVID? No, <laughs> they got cold because it was, oh. like, oh, it was, it was winter, right. right? I guess. But then at the end of it, fucking Santa Claus brought them gifts <laughs> because they saved Christmas. So they're, they're you know, oh. and so they're not only are they mad, they're like, they're on the good list, and yeah. now they're like, they're like, fucking Santa Claus broke into our house, <laughs> <laughs> right? I like that. Not only that, they broke into their lair. Yeah, exactly. I fucking broke into our lair. Like, <laughs> <sighs> that's good. That's pretty good. That's good. That's yeah. a good little twist there. Yeah. So Santa Claus is the ultimate bad guy? Yeah, he, he, they keep talking about it. he's the ultimate thief. Yeah, he, he sneaks He's broken into everybody's house and he's never been caught. Never been caught, but he doesn't steal anything. Yeah, you know? he just, breaks in. It's just a badge of honor to yeah. wear that can break into anybody's mm-hmm. house. And, Master thief. Yeah, drops them. <laughs> whether it's a lump of coal or an mm-hmm. actual present, yeah. I was in there. Yeah, yeah. But right. it's just funny because they're so offended that they're not they're on the good list and that he like <laughs> broke into their lair. <laughs> Yeah, the whole the whole good list thing. I guess it could be seen as a precursor yeah, to the whole movie. Yeah, yeah. Are any of the other characters in there, like the police chief and all that? Yeah, know? they come out here and there. Like there's like the little cameos and stuff like that. Oh, but okay. yeah, it's mostly them. Okay, yeah. that's uh, you know, it, I think with Kung Fu Panda when they tried yeah. to do that, they did. They're like, oh, this is not their main cast. Yeah. But it's still part of the story. Yeah. Right? I was. It was interesting, and the, yeah. these characters try to at least sound like them. That they at least mm-hmm. do that. And the, yeah, like the, the guy doing uh, the freaking uh, the main one. Uh-huh. Like he he sounded like him. What's his name? Uh, freaking. Not, what's his name? What fucking. Oh god damn it! I have his face in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He actually looks like the Sam Rockwell. Rockwell. Rockwell there you Sam go. Rockwell. Yeah. It's funny. There's a video on um, on YouTube mm. where they talk about how every movie that Sam Rockwell comes out, he dances. Mm-hmm. And then they, they show like a montage of it, and they show the wolf dancing. Because <laughs> even in that movie, he dances. Yeah, yeah. that's what he does. Yeah. Even if it's like two steps or whatever, yeah. you know, he'll do mm-hmm. it. Yeah. You know, it's funny. Like I remember the first time seeing that guy. Like I really like that dude. Like yeah. that guy's a really good actor. Like I just enjoy whatever he's in. But um, I remember the first time seeing that dude was uh, well, knowing that it was him yeah. was the fucking Charlie's Angels movie. Yeah. Where he was like he was like the, the secret bad guy, and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> the secret bad guy. The whole time. The whole time. The whole time. He's just like this wimpy dude, and all of a sudden he's like starts dancing, and he's in a fucking suit. <laughs> like, <laughs> like him? Yeah. It wasn't Chris McLover. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, Sam Rock was. Uh, I was real excited about the the freaking what if. Um, mm-hmm. He's coming out in one of the episodes. As what? As fucking just a hammer. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah. Just like that? Yeah. All right. And, uh, well, I mean, the whole point of the what is is to play around with the yeah. shit we yeah. had yeah. before. So I get it. Yeah. 
He's he's coming back as a Santa. That, I, I read somewhere that they said that that is the one villain that oh. everyone's like, when is he coming back? What? Hold on. She can. Is it to be out already? Or what is? No, uh, tomorrow Friday. Oh, it's just Friday. Wait, t- Friday? So we're gonna have one and then the Christmas one? Yeah. So Christmas was the second episode. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking we we're gonna have like a nice lead up to no. that one. And it's shit. like the second episode. No, that's a little. Not even that. Like I think it comes out the twenty fourth. The Wait, the is Christ- a Sunday. The Christmas episode. Uh huh. And then Christmas Day is another episode. Oh, Christmas Day is the the fucking uh, the the one that was supposed to be from last season. The oh, the missing so, episode. Yeah, it's even they have lost episodes. Yeah, that yeah. one's gonna be on. Uh, you know. That's the one that's based off that Lego set. Yeah, that people are like, well, what the fuck is this? Shit? Yeah, <laughs> this weird ass Iron Man. Get out of here. Mm-hmm. That makes sense now. Cause remember, does it turn? It turns into a car, right? Like the. I think so. I don't know. Yeah, idea. I never yeah. that. Set. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. yeah, it should be fun. Yeah, what if is uh yeah, Next couple week, days, couple days, oh. like, Thursday night I think Thursday night Friday something like that. <sighs> it should be yeah. fun. It should be fun. Should yeah, be it's fun. weird now that like Disney Plus is doing that where like it's not like they don't give you just a date, not even a time. Disney Plus gives you a time. Yeah, wasn't it always like nine p.m.? No, it was always midnight. And this, it, but but it was like midnight East Coast. No, no midnight. No West Coast. Oh. Now it's like, oh, it's uh, like like the Doctor Who stuff. Uh-huh. And that shit is fucking weird because it's like 10.30 in the morning, mm-hmm. but in the UK, it's like 6 o'clock in the evening. The previous day, the same day. Yeah, but it's like they drop it. Oh, that's a, the that's that, one complained. Remember last yeah. time they told me they were mm-hmm. all like crying. Oh, how come they get it first? Yeah. <laughs> we're British, they're not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want Penny Hill back. <laughs> um, yeah, right. Yeah. So okay, cool. And I was, I think, I think they did the same thing with that Percy Jackson show. I think it, it dropped at like nine o'clock last night. Wait, is it also made over there in BBC? No, 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 no. But I think that's what they're doing now. They're giving oh. the actual timestamp. Okay. So you yeah, because even like the it. the freaking uh, Echo, hmm. I think it, it drops like at six o'clock. <laughs> like it's like it's. That's what weird. they were doing that shit with Loki, too, remember? Yeah, yeah. At 6 o'clock yeah, also. Because yeah. at the time, nerds get home. I guess. You know, they all get <laughs> up there at 5 o'clock, <laughs> get an hour to get home. Yeah. But then technically, that's and, like, yeah. what, 9 o'clock at East Coast? Yeah. So, I guess. That's a, don't worry. That's the time East Coast people <laughs> get home. <laughs> it's different time. Yeah, that's true. Coast, that's true. Yeah. They work harder yeah. over there. Dude, that, that Echo show, I guess they, they didn't do a, a review embargo. And there's already <sighs> some reviews out. Yeah. And everyone's, like, loving it. Oh. Everyone's saying it's really good. You scared me for yeah. a second there, because when they don't do that shit, that's you know yeah. that's always a big sign of yeah. oh no. Yeah, people are, people they have reviewed it. I, I don't yeah. think they've seen the whole thing. I think they only give half of it. Okay, it's only five episodes. Okay, because yeah. I saw it on the back of a truck yeah. above a bus. Yeah, they're really pushing it. Yeah, really. Yeah. Okay, because I saw the, I haven't seen one. In, only saw one. Hmm? Only seen one. So one. Advertising. Oh, on no, they're it. pushing it everywhere. Yeah. I've seen I've seen it everywhere. No. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, was, I wasn't really looking forward to it, but then that first chair dropped, I'm like, oh, this looks kind of cool. Like, it looks, I don't know. I don't know. It looks cool. Well, uh, I was going to say, it's like, where is your Echo book tie in? Yeah, they haven't it, done that it, yet. It's gonna... Well, you know, they can't do it though because they should think. <laughs> so, when Jason Aaron was writing mm-hmm. uh, Avenger, that was the last run before this one, yeah. he made Echo the Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Echo has the Phoenix Force. Wait, what? And they haven't changed that. So th- it's not the same character <laughs> anymore. <laughs> They're gonna take it away from her. They have to, right? They have they to. Have I to. mean, here's another thing about the Phoenix Force. It's like a, it's like a modern day Lady of the Night. It goes <laughs> around with everybody nowadays. You know. Well, okay. At one point, Colossus had that. Yeah. Shit, you know? Oh no, no. Here's the thing. So here's Namor the thing. had that shit before Echo got it. Uh-huh. So it, it came back to Earth, and they were like, "Shit!" Like the Avengers had to deal with it. Yeah. And so, uh, what they ended up, I forgot how it happened, but basically the Phoenix Force is like, oh, I want to find a worthy um, a companion, right? right? Yeah, yeah. And so basically, it split into a bunch of different pieces. Right, right. And it went into a bunch of the Avengers and a bunch of villains. Oh, boy. And then basically, they had to fight. Hmm. And every time you would win a fight, you get part of You it. get more of the, the thing, right? Yeah. And she ended up winning. Like, and I go end up being like, yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they could do that now. <laughs> I mean, 
Stripper of the power. Yeah. And you're done. I don't know, man. Your, your time has come. <laughs> you're done. You have a Disney Plus show on now. <laughs> Plus, you got you to act the part, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, uh, Rachel, what are you doing? Yeah. Rachel, Storm, you know, Gene. Storm, hey, Storm. Hey, Storm. Give her the Phoenix Wars. Give her the Phoenix Wars, yeah. Um, Random. Well, I mean, they only do a prequel, right? They always do like a prequel story when she was a like, criminal or, you know. Yeah, you yeah, know. yeah, 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 yeah. Give it a Jubilee. That'd be interesting. Jubilee for it. It's too powerful. <laughs> Just fireworks. Yeah. Wait, what book was it? It was like, who was right? I forgot who. I think Brubaker was writing X-Men. Mm. And there was a whole scene where like fucking Xavier was like, oh, you know, Jubilee is really dangerous. And then they go in and he goes, do you know, you realize what she actually does? She splits atoms. Uh-huh. Like she's splitting tiny atoms, you know, like, and then that's actually, what, so she goes, if she really wanted to. She's Nuclear like, gun? yeah. What the <laughs> yeah. fuck? And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> when you put it like that. Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking she's making fire with little sparkies, no, no. And, you know. You just know? splitting down to their fucking fingertips. <sighs> Who else is also super dangerous? Boom Boom, remember? Yeah. Like yeah. super fucking dangerous mm-hmm. if you wanted to. Well, they always try to push Iceman. Yeah. Iceman is like was Omega level and like, like oh, yeah. he could fucking end the world he if he wanted to. And it's like, he I mean, he could like, freeze the world yeah. if he wanted to. How? I guess. <laughs> Jeez. Well, because what book was it where they explain Iceman's powers? Yeah. And how he makes the bridges? Yeah, like so he's slowing, he's slowing air uh, molecules, air molecules. Mm-hmm. and so like he could fucking freeze the shit in your body, like you know. Like <laughs> Technically, yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, from from a perspective like that, yes. Because was it air? Yeah. When it's slowed down, becomes you know solid. Yeah. Becomes water. Mm-hmm. Becomes that. Continuously making colder, you make it fucking ice. Mm-hmm. It's a process. Yeah, yeah. But he's doing it instantaneously. Instantaneously. And you're eighty percent water. You're telling yeah, me. Yeah. Just fucking done. You're done. Well, actually, they can plant the original planetary. Yeah. Um, Elijah Snow, that was this thing. He had basically ice powers. Uh-huh. Well, not ice powers. He could free shit, like from a distance, or whatever. Uh-huh. And one of his things, it was fucking terrifying. He would free. He would it wouldn't freeze it, but he would like lower the temperature of the water in the front of your head. Oh man! And it would just fucking like knock you out. <laughs> That's a migraine of anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He would literally like, and he would lower it. And then the other thing he did was I remember they were after somebody, mm-hmm. and this guy was in a urinal, and he's fucking. He's fucking peeing, and all of a sudden he's like, "Oh, what the fuck!" Like he fr- it stopped his pee midstream. He, fro- he froze it. <laughs> and to anyone that's ever stopped peeing midstream, that shit hurts. Mm-hmm. Now freeze that shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, thank you. Man. Remember they did some cool stuff with the, the ice yeah. thing. It was like, oh, that's interesting, you know. So they gave him the real Iceman power. Yeah. <laughs> and he didn't have to look like Bobby did. Yeah. yeah? He's a white suit. A white suit. A white suit. Just- yeah, yeah. Because there was one too where like like they did the, the whole thing about how you know the whole thing about when ghosts yeah. make a room cold. Uh-huh. So he did the opposite. Like he like fucking lowered the temperature of a room, and all of a sudden you can see the fucking ghost. Oh, <laughs> see, he, okay, interesting. And I was like, that's kind of cool. So he slowed down the molecules around mm-hmm. to the same frequency as the ghost, yeah. and you can see it. Huh? Yeah, that makes sense yeah. to me. Fucking comic books are weird, dude. Comic books are weird, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Who would think ice powers is one of the biggest threats? Pretty powerful stuff, yeah. man. Ice powers? You think a, like an ice bender would fucking shit up like that? Yeah. Yeah. A water bender? Water bender. Well, dude, water benders can fucking bend your blood. Those are blood benders. Yeah, but that's water bending. That's, yeah, a, that's, that's the form a, of water bending. It's a forbidden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. You shouldn't be talking about that on <laughs> podcast. You can get us fucking outcast here. Yeah. Well, you know? Yeah. Gotta be careful. With they that. didn't outcast M Night Shyamalan for that movie. They were good. <laughs> well, that's the thing people don't acknowledge the movie. Yeah, I guess. I, you know, I, I, I think I told you that right. I saw yeah. I, I barely saw that movie like a couple years ago. Yeah, and I was like, it's all right. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. You ready for the next one though? I kind of hyped up, man. For the Netflix. Like I, I, I freaking uh, mm. I keep seeing all this Netflix stuff, and I'm just like, oh, it's cool. I don't care. Like I I'm like seeing oh. two pictures. Yeah, and one of them was Appa. Mm-hmm. And one was uh, fucking uh, Yang, whatever. No. Yang. You see, oh, you see Iro, oh, Uncle no, Iro. You no, know, I love fucking Iro, dude. You know who's playing them? There's Jackie Chan. No, not to be racist. <laughs> but always, no, not to be racist. But I always thought he would make yeah. a good, good Uncle Iro. No, who's playing Uncle Iro? Oh, it's that dude from uh, Mandalorian. Um, the the big guy, the pilot, the uh, no, the pilot. The the the, the, the guy from um, not the big guy with the sun, right? No, no, no. Okay. Uh, the 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 fucking uh, X wing pilot, the one that's always fucking wedge. No, no wedge. <laughs> the guy that like when when they were hiding out in the the caves, uh-huh. he showed up because he was like tracking the fucking droid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's playing it. Yeah. 
I'm, and uh, you're kind of bringing me down here. No, 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 but he was at like I think the premiere yeah. of like Mandalorian, Shire, and he had the fucking beard. He had the full like <laughs> Iro <eyebrow> beard. <laughs> and now it's convincing to you. Oh yeah, he's a he's a stocky dude, yeah, but yeah. Anchor Ever was short, yeah. and stocky, and he had a lot of vigor. <laughs> yeah, and he liked his tea. Well, did you ever watch? Uh, was it uh, Kim Convenience? Okay. He's in there. He's the dad. Inconvenience. It was the uh, fucking. Uh, it was also Netflix, wasn't it? Yeah, fucking Shang Chi. <laughs> yeah, no, I've never seen yeah. it. But he was a dad in that. He's thing. a dad in that, and he and he does this really heavy accent, and oh. like, yeah, it, it's. I tell you, like, I, I saw that show, yeah, and then when he came out in, uh, in, in Mandalorian, I'm like, oh, he doesn't really talk like that. <laughs> like, <laughs> Cause, you know what? He's round. He's chunky. He's, he, no. but he's kind of like that. I don't know. I don't want to see. Uh, when we first meet Arrow, you're like, oh, dude, he's just this yeah. dude's bodyguard, yeah. teacher, whatever. Yeah, you really yeah. don't think it's not later on until you find out, oh, he's an adorable old man. You yeah. know, he's not a bad dude. But they find out he's like a badass fucking the, yeah, the, it, the fat dragon. That <laughs> happens somewhere along the line <laughs> yeah. as well. Yeah. And that guy that like you see him and he's like always sitting down. Yeah. He always seems like a happy guy. Mm-hmm. And that Kim's convenience, yeah, he had no facial hair. Yeah. He was very, yeah. you know, he had we had black hair, I think, in yeah, that, yeah. if I'm mistaken. Uh, All right, you uh, know uh, what? I'm uh, we're we, we're kind of low on agents. Yeah, so well. actor actor wise, yeah. in in that aspect, in that genre. Because what's his face? Uh, Samuel uh, Hung is too old to do it. He's too old to do it. Yeah, yeah. would be perfect. <laughs> Samuel Hung mm-hmm. maybe ten years ago. Yeah, yeah. you know. Because what's his face? Uh, I forget his name, but he was in Lost, and he was in a couple other things. In like uh, the Asian the guy with the Asian couple. Yeah, yeah. No, he's fucking the 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 Fire Lord. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's not Mark Hamill. Who is it? <laughs> yeah, Mark Hamill. <laughs> that was always weird, dude. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. He's the Fire Lord. Yeah, yeah, I could tell. Yeah, no. I'm in with that one. This, uh, <laughs> this is turning out to be a little more uh, than I thought. I didn't even know who's playing who on besides those two now. Yeah, the rest of the people, I don't know. Like okay. the rest, of the, I think they're kind of like. <laughs> those are the biggest stars we have on yeah. the show. Really? I think so. No, there's some more bigger. Like, what's his face? Uh, what's his name? Fucking. Yeah, I don't know. You're telling, of, this com- is all news for me. Of community, uh, fucking Abed. Abed? He's in it. I don't know who he's playing though. Abed? Yeah. He's kind of old. He can't be playing on the kids. No, he's not one playing on the kids. There was a running joke that like, uh-huh. well, he they asked him and he didn't want to say like, uh-huh. so I'm guessing it's gonna be a big, you know, oh, big thing. But like, uh-huh. and he made a joke that he's the fucking uh, the lettuce guy, the. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> The cabbage uh, salesman, dude. <laughs> no, no offense, but yeah, that'd be perfect. <laughs> I forgot that was like yeah. a running joke. The cabbage guy. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, they haven't, I don't think they've said who he's playing. But yeah, and he's the cabbage guy. That'd be that'd hilarious. Be, that'd, be, that'd be great because <laughs> small part, yeah. but big laughs. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, there was this fan one made. Like mm-hmm. this film made a fan one, which I didn't believe because of the ang, the, the gods. I'm older, dude. Yeah. But it was kind of cool. Like, if fans can do certain shit yeah. with limited CGI and limited budget, mm-hmm. come on, dude. Fucking, yeah. They, they got to give us some big fucking yeah. effects. See, the that. thing, too, is, like, I remember, can I tell you, I watched, I watched the Eminem Shyamalan recently, yeah. and I was watching it, and I'm like, this is weird. And I'm like, you know, and I'm like, it's not bad. It's just, it's like he compressed the hell out of it. Mm-hmm. He tried to do a whole season in one movie. Right. Which is a little weird, but then the thing that bugged me was the kid playing Aang. Like, I'm like, like this kid's annoying. It's and then, like, annoying. I, I, I did a deep dive and I looked into it and I was like, oh, he wasn't an actor. Mm-mm. He was like a martial artist. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, and I'm looking at him I'm like, I don't get why you would pick this kid though because like he it. didn't do a lot of like martial arts and thing. Like most of it was just like jumping around and like, you know, like he wasn't, so I'm like, I don't know, man. I think, you know, they, I don't think it benefited the fact that you get a martial artist, you know. Like, I think he wanted to do more. Yeah. I think he wanted to actually have like, Action scenes that yeah. were action scenes. I'm mm-hmm. like, what we saw there, which is just a bunch it, of CGI. Just bun- yeah, but yeah. you can tell it was a bunch of wire work. A lot of like, I'm like, I guess, but you know, I don't know. I think you could have gotten anybody then at that point. You know, like, I don't, I don't, I don't think you needed to get this kid. Yeah, but Holly Joe Osment's too fat and old by that time. <laughs> there is no. There, there too bad no it's, it's, it's cultural appropriation. He could have been Iro. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Young Iroh. Yeah, Young Iroh. <laughs> Haley Joe Osmond. For those flashback scenes, I'm down. <laughs> I mean, just saying, if he matches the role, no. why not use yeah, him, right? Yeah, true. <laughs> oh, you know what? Um, no, I got to tell you. Well, there was a thing uh-huh. that got leaked. Oh, no. Like a cameo that's going to be in it. Oh, no. And 
and people were like, like, oh, this isn't real, this isn't real, and then they, then they, they confirmed it was real, and I was like, ah, oh, fuck, that's fucked up. Like, there's something like Donald Trump. No, no. <laughs> in the air bender universe. Like, no, I'm not gonna say. Right. I'm not gonna let go. I'm but it go. plays into the season and all that. Yeah, well, I don't know how they're doing this because I don't know if they're doing it in seasons uh-huh. or like because they're talking about how like they've been filming forever. Right. So I don't know if it's gonna be like a one and done thing or it's gonna be continue. I mean, because huh. even like the 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 what's it called the One Piece and all that stuff they're doing like yeah. they don't plan to do another season after that. But then it's like oh it did well let's do another one you know. Yeah. Oh, they got tons of no. story to tell. Dude. No, no. But I'm saying that like the problem with doing it that yeah. way is it like we're not gonna get another season for like two years. Yeah. You know. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> and those kids are all gonna be older. Yeah. And, and yeah. It's only so long you can you have them yeah. for. Like the Stranger Things, uh, you know, like the whole thing with Stranger Things, it's like, like that shit's going to take forever. Yeah. And they're just like, oh, well, they're talking about like fucking de-aging them and CG. I'm like, dude, just, just push it forward. Yeah. Just be like, oh, a couple years by, you know. The like, 90s. Yeah, like just accept it, you know. Welcome to the 90s. Yeah. You're no longer Hawkins in the 80s. Yeah. You're recuperating Hawkins in the 90s. Yeah. You yeah. Know? yeah. Totally rad. Mm-hmm. Love it. Demogorgon. Yeah. Radical. <laughs> Conan was big. Hopper yeah. could still have that yeah, sword. Yeah, he's got a sword. Yeah. Good old Hopper. <laughs> but I think that's just going to happen anytime soon, man, because I think they announced that uh, Thunderbolts is going to go into production like in March. Wait, I thought that was also another thing that was almost done. No. <laughs> oh, man. They're barely going to start filming that shit oh, in March. Man. Yeah. man. I thought that we were like halfway or at least a third of the way. No, it's here's the thing. So, um, oh, man. I was reading this report, and they were talking about, like, uh, Feige was talking about how, like, oh, you know, there's oversaturation, and, and people are getting, you know, burned out. So he was like, oh, next year, in 2024, we're only getting one movie. Mm. I think we're getting, like, two or three shows, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and that's it, right? And he's like, yeah, we're going to we're gonna fix things, and this and that. Right? And then the following year, we're getting four movies. <laughs> One a season, yeah. you know, four movies. That's one every three yeah. months. We're getting four fucking movies. How many shows? Uh, probably like three or four. <laughs> four movies, three shows. That yeah. goes right in between the movies yeah. and the shows. We're but people fucking are bitching about that. Like, Why? Like, that's like, a, that's too much. Year. It's that's too much. Good, that's a good year. Yeah, you get one movie every season, mm-hmm. every three months. Yeah. one movie. And in between that, yeah. one yeah. show yeah. Yeah. to tie you over. You don't have to watch no. it back to yeah. back to back. People are complaining about that shit, man. Mm. Like, I don't know why. Like, I, I know people complain about that now, but, like, that, I feel like the golden age of the Disney Plus thing was, like, at the beginning, mm-hmm. where, like, you everything. know, everything, it would end, and then, like, wait about a month, another show would start up, and, like. <laughs> it was Marvel, Star Wars, yeah. Marvel, yeah. Star Wars for a while, wasn't mm-hmm. it? I fucking love that shit. We were too spoiled. I think we were, man. I think we were too spoiled. Now, uh, what it was, well, uh, fucking uh, Monarch, watching Monarch. Yeah. I have to wait a week for another episode <laughs> on Apple on a streaming service. Yep. Why? Yep. Why not just give me everything and let's go? They want know? to drag it out, man. They want to drag it out. They're tired of people ever just fucking binge watching mm-hmm. and eating it all, and they'd be like, "Oh, it's stupid." Yeah, I'm out. Yeah. yeah. No, man. Especially like Apple TV, man. They have they have to like they don't have a lot, man. They, oh, they, they don't have a you know. I mean, they got the the. the just, and that's it. Did you see what's it called? There's a, a a Christmas special. On Apple TV, and it's what's your face from Ted Lasso, the 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 owner. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. She's a singer, like you know, in real life. In real life, so she does she's doing a Christmas special, and like, like uh, Bing Crosby and shit. Yeah, yeah. like she's like performing Christmas songs and that, and like they show like the cast of Ted Lasso come out and like they're like you know dancing around. <laughs> like, I, like, I kind of want to watch it. But is <laughs> he on top of a piano? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that is classy. Yeah. I kind of want to watch it, but I'm just like, ah, I'll wait. <laughs> You know what? It's a holiday put on. Yeah, you know, yeah, put yeah. it on on the twenty fifth mm-hmm. or twenty fourth. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a holiday put. Although on. you know what? I, I don't even remember. This is a while ago. Remember the Netflix did that uh, Bill Murray Christmas special? Yeah, that was really good. I liked that a lot. And here's one of the things: it's like they just dropped it. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no emphasis. In like November, or something yeah, too, yeah, right? Yeah, like, yeah. No emphasis. Like the Black Friday. Maybe. I, was, I, I remember like it was Black early. Friday. It was yeah. Early. yeah. It was like it wasn't. It wasn't near Christmas. No, and they just dropped it, and everyone's just. Yeah. Oh my god, Bill yeah. Murray. Because fucking Phoenix came out. <laughs> I love Phoenix. <laughs> He's buddies with them. He's buddies with them. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's his best friend. Yeah, they, yeah. They, you know, they go on groundhog, tri- groundhog trips with together. Yeah, yeah. You know, they go back in time all the time. Mm-hmm. All the time. They go golfing with a gopher, mm-hmm. you know, because yeah. Bill Murray. <laughs> Bill Murray. And Phoenix are friends. Mm-hmm. They're fe- they're, he's friends with a weird French alternative rock band. <laughs> 
That's very Bill Murray. I don't think I don't think uh, he's friends with them. I think they're friends with him. Yeah, well, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's Bill Murray. It's Bill Murray. Yeah, it seems because of Bill Murray, I discovered Phoenix. Really? Because of the was it Lost in Translation? Ah, they did a couple of songs. I'm like, who is this? This yeah, is cool. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. Because of that, Phoenix was a thing in mm-hmm. America. Yeah, that was a good song. That's a good album. Mm-hmm. Maybe. The oh, the soundtrack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's such a weird movie. Why? Such a weird movie. Like, also, well, it, in the sense that, like, I think that's a, that's one of those movies mm-hmm. that, depending on the person, oh. they freaking interpret it differently. Yeah, it, it's in their left. Because I remember, uh, I remember showing it to a friend of mine who yeah. had never seen it. Well, no, she didn't know who Bill Murray was. How? Exactly, right? I'm like, dude, you, Ghostbusters? And she's like, oh, right? I've like, never seen Ghostbusters. No, uh, she said she did. She didn't know who Bill Murray was. Oh, out of like four characters? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And so I was like, all right, we're going to watch this movie. Mm-hmm. Caddyshack? All right. And we watched it. Scrooge. And I remember, like, her interpretation of it. So, so this is the part where, where uh, you know, they become friends. Yeah. And, and, and then Scarlett Johansson goes to his uh, his room. Oh, yeah. And she walks in on him with the lounge singer. Mm-hmm. And she's pissed at him and she leaves. Yeah. And so my, so my friend's interpretation was like, oh, she w- she had a crush on him. And I'm like, no. no. She was disappointed in him because she knew he had a wife and kid. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> like. A lot of people interpret it that like they were like into each other. I'm like, no, they weren't. Like he was lonely, mm-hmm. and she reminded him of like you know uh, of his kid or he loved you know like, of his daughter or whatever. Yeah, yeah, or, yeah, yeah. He was just a lonely dude. Like you know, and that's that's what the whole movie's called Lost in Translation. Mm-hmm. They, they, they everyone kind of interpreted. Yeah, it. I thought originally, yeah, the same. Oh, she was developing feelings yeah. for him and shit, but he was already married, so there's yeah. no way. Now he's fucking. Wrong. It's like, oh, cool. But no, you realize, no, no, no. it was never like, especially towards the end, you're mm-hmm. like, oh, no, he's going to go home. Yeah. Gonna, they're going to go separate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't worry about it. It was just two lonely people. Yeah. Yeah, that's all it was. Yeah. was you know. Just hang, having yeah. a good old time <laughs> at the airport. <laughs> going fucking uh, seeing karaoke. and mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> That's all it is. I mean, seriously, there was a time in my life where it's like, it was nothing but interactions with people across people after people. Mm-hmm. And then it just, that was a, all that it was. It was just. Filling the time yeah. with somebody, and that's yeah, it. Yeah. That's all it was. That's all it is. Yeah. You know, it's fucking weird. No, and then I, never, I, I never see him again. I think that's why people relate to that movie, man. Because yeah. everyone has that moment. And everyone has that, like, you mm. know, weird shared experience where you just, you know, yeah, you see a uh, murder together. Right? Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> never want to see that person again. And it's just like, yeah, that that that, that was a really good movie. I remember that movie like bummed me out the first time I saw it, though. But you know, yeah, that was a really good movie. No, and a lot of people saw that. that said the same thing you, she said. It's yeah. like, oh, she was into him, yeah. but it wasn't. A, no, 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 no. You gotta keep. She going. saw him as like a weird father figure and shit, and like, it, yeah. yeah, it was like a whole. Yeah, to me, it was just two people that were yeah. lost, like in translation, yeah. who just met up and you know had mm-hmm. a moment, and kept on going. Yeah, yeah, that's life. Yeah, because even at the end, like the whole thing of like, I guess they finally revealed what he tells her or whatever. Oh, and the, 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 yeah, but then basically he's just like. like it's pretty apparent that her fucking husband's fucking around on her, mm-hmm. right? And that's what he, what he tells her. Like, you, like, just fucking confront him about that. Like, you know, like... Just tell him. Just, yeah. just confront him. Is yeah. that what she tells him? Yeah, he tells her. Like, he, he says something like, well, go back to that room and tell that man something, something, something. And, like, it's like, yeah. Because that's, that's how it ends. Yeah. It pretty much that's how it ends. Yeah. And we don't really know what happened afterwards. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah? Yeah. Is that really... Who said that? Who, I forgot. I think... Uh, what's her face said it? Yeah, uh, Sofia Coppola... Yeah, I think she she confirmed it or something. Because yeah. for the longest time, it was like the the golden yeah. briefcase. What's yeah. in it? Yeah, we never knew what he tells her. And there was a lot of people who were telling me, "Yeah, I said let's go down and fucking shit." <laughs> no, and I'm like, no, it's not. But then why would she cry about that? <laughs> because he's a dirty old man yeah. at the end of it Wait, all. Don't worry. <laughs> and not in that movie. Not in that movie. That's true. No, he was a washed up actor, right? Like he was like, uh, yeah. yeah, he was a uh, pre Bill Murray. Bill Bro. <laughs> Somewhere between the That's true. Right? That was his big thing, right? His big comeback, right? Like, lost in translation. Because he came out in... I always forget. He was fucking in Royal Tenenbaums. Yeah. And But he, had, like, he didn't have like a huge role, but he was... Uh, he was uh, What's her face? Greg Paltrow's husband. Like, yeah. Yeah. He was at the, the, the turtleneck, yeah. I think. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The turtleneck. But it's funny because someone pointed out... I, I saw a video one time when they were like, dude, Royal Tenenbaums is fucking... is uh, Arrested, Arrested Development. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like, it's the same fucking characters. And you're like, that's crazy. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, it is. It is. It is. <laughs> I forgot where I saw it. It's a, it's a video. You yeah. see the same video. Yeah. They pretty much uh, they compare it character yeah. story-wise, joke-wise. Yeah. Yeah. Might be oh, yeah. But it, the Rotan Moms came up before. Yeah. 
way before. Yeah, I saw it in the theater. Yeah, it was funny too because one of those it was one of those things where like around that time, yeah. well, growing up, we would as a whole family would go to the movies. Uh-huh. And a lot of time, my, my mom would always be like, "Whatever's starting, we're gonna watch it." And and I remember one time we watched that, and we had no, I had no idea what it was. Like you know, like I, I saw the poster, and we're like, "All right." And we came out of that. That movie was amazing. <laughs> like you know I mean? so avant garde. It's so funny. Like yeah, she cut her finger off. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. It was a different type of funny mm-hmm. for the time, you know. Yeah. And that pretty much started this whole Wes Anderson. Yeah, because he did movies before that, but it wasn't yeah. like, like Rushmore. I remember I saw Rushmore way later on, and then uh, I've never college. seen uh, the Bottle Rockets. Yeah, I've like never seen that. Yeah. I've never seen that one. And see, aesthetically, totally different. Oh, yeah. Different and more money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what money gets you, huh? Mm-hmm. You can make a whole town, a movie by yeah. the town. You can fucking want. build a hotel. And yeah. <laughs> they call it the Grand Budapest. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, put a train. Yeah. Make it unlimited. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That was him, too, right? Yeah. The 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 Yeah. 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 The only one that I couldn't get into was that last one, uh, the before the Astro City, the the. Astro City. Is the, another one before that? Yeah, the one it was like about a newspaper. It was like it was like black and white, and it was like. A, oh. Uh, it's a French Dispatch or something. Yeah, I didn't see that one. I couldn't get into it. Like like Joanna yeah. liked it a lot, and I was like, oh, it's, I get it, but I just wasn't like. Eh. Yeah, you we would, but it's about journalism. Yeah, no, it's weird. It's basically about like the the editor dies. Uh-huh. In the beginning, and so they're like, we have one edition left to put out, and there are a bunch of short stories, essentially like illustrating those articles. Uh, and it's weird, and they're just like these stories that kind of just like they don't interconnect really. And mm-hmm. it's it, I don't know. It's like when we did that comic page, yeah. in, in, in college. Yeah, <laughs> this was some random shit. random shit. <laughs> uh, it was on my list to watch, yeah. but like I don't even know what stream is it right now. It's on Max, I think. Oh. I think it's on Max. Maybe. That's the first time I saw Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> Wait a minute. You haven't seen Timothy Chalamet before? No, I didn't know who he was. The silver man himself? I, I remember, I remember my, my, my little sister said, she, she's like, oh, I have a crush on Timothy Chalamet. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> right? <laughs> like, what is a Timothy Chalamet? Like, uh, what is a Timothy Chalamet? <laughs> no, he's about five foot three. Yeah. <laughs> He's not a tall dude. I don't no. think he's tall. He's like not mm. that tall at least. And we're led to believe he's gonna grow up to be fucking Gene Wilder, right? <laughs> Little boy is gonna grow up to be Gene Wilder. <laughs> he he has a baby face. He's had the last yeah. baby face for like the last ten years. I don't know what's wrong with that guy. Yeah, they say he's a good actor. I've only seen him in that movie, and like I, I didn't never watch Dune. I didn't watch. Uh, yeah, I watched Dune. He's alright. He's good. Yeah, I don't know what else he's in. Like. I haven't seen Wonka. <laughs> I haven't seen Wonka either. Yeah. I, don't, I watched Dune and he was fine. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, his acting's uh, his acting. Mm-hmm. His acting. No, I don't, I don't get it. I think he's. I don't know. Yeah. I I I don't know what he was trying to do with Dune because he's. Are you seeing the, the the newer Dune right now? No, I haven't seen that one. No, no. I don't know. Explain it then. If anyone's still seeing Dune, <laughs> explain his acting. To yeah, me. I, don't, I don't get it. You know, I don't get it either. But he said he's the greatest mm. actor in the world. That's what they say. Everyone says that. Oh, and in Dune, he plays opposite Zendaya. Oh. Yeah. Or Zendaya. 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 Zendaya? Zendaya. Something. <laughs> Zimbabwe. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that article? I was reading this article about how, like, Uma Thurman was talking to Quentin Tarantino about convincing him to do another Kill Bill. Because he's due? Yeah. And because they were saying, like, like, he said, oh, we only do one more. And, like, and she, she'd be like, oh, no, but it doesn't count because it's, like, part of a trilogy or, or bullshit, right? And he said that he, the only way he would do it mm. is if um, he can get the kid back. The original kid? Yeah. Um, and be about her trying to get revenge on the bride. Uh-huh. That was like the whole thing, right? And then he said, like, if he couldn't do it, he didn't want to do it. And then uh, the Uma Thurman was like, well, if you can't get her, get fucking Zendaya. <laughs> she would be about the same age. Yeah. I'm like, that'd be interesting. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But, you know. but, I mean, is she brown enough to pull it off, I think? Yeah. The look was so. pretty, pretty dark. I don't remember. Do remember? It's been a while. She was a uh, what's her name from uh, Vivica's Fox's. Yeah, right, right, yeah, right. yeah. See, that'd be interesting. The magic is you're like that was like the first scene of the movie, right? Like mm-hmm. when she goes to the house and uh, yeah. So that'd be really interesting because it's like the first scene is like leading up to like the third part, like twenty years later or whatever. You know, like 
It, it, and she said, she told her, if in 20 years or something, yeah. you still you want feel to, the same, yeah. come find me. Mm-hmm. It's been yeah. 20 some See, because that would be really interesting, because imagine, like, then you do, like, yeah. she's going after her, but then, like, there's people that protect are defending her. Like, she had a daughter at the end, so, like, clearly she probably trained her daughter, right? You think the daughter would get in the middle? Oh, yeah. You think, uh-huh. you think it'd be one of those yeah. things, like, she'd be the, 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 not the boss, but the sub-boss yeah. before the mom? Yeah, that'd be cool. You know, and... Mm-hmm. and I think she chopped off her arm and the, the does the thing that they did to his no. mom in that one. Mm-hmm. And then you get to watch what you did to my mother yeah, and your right. own child. Yeah. Or she does to Uma Thurman. And then, yeah. she can, then we do another one, part two. Where part, they yeah, they clash again. Clash again. Because then they were saying, too, that like the, so the, the, the actress that played yeah. uh, the bride's daughter oh. in the original movie, yeah. it's what's her face? Uh, and uh, Andy McDowell's daughter? had a dollar. Yeah, day. she was in uh, um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Uh-huh. She's the freaking hippie chick that takes uh, Brad Pitt to the, the ranch. Oh, she's old then. No. <laughs> I mean, she's... Like 20. 20 like, years old. Yeah, I'm right. just saying, it's compared to who she was that, that. Then it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Well, she's still the same age. It's been 20 years. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> See, it would work. You know what? Just get the synopsis from Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> and just we'll get, you know, Shadow Wright in. Yeah. <laughs> Deal with it. Deal with it. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, he didn't want to do it because he said that like it was such it was so it was very difficult to do the other one. Mm-hmm. That he said it was the like, most difficult movie ever made. Yeah. Well, time change it might be not as difficult. Yeah, maybe. And it, it make it a you know six part episode. Yeah. And <laughs> Netflix and shit. Netflix, yeah. no problem. Yeah. You know, Bill obviously had probably other illegitimate sons, yeah. and children, right? Yeah, maybe yeah, yeah, he yeah. collected maybe, them, maybe. made part of the yeah. army. Who knows? She took. Oh no, he died, right? He took Michael her, Madsen. He took her uh, her kid to Pai Mei, but he died, right? Like, yeah, they killed Pai Mei. They killed Pai Mei. Yeah. Oh, but you know who would be a new the new Pai Mei? Oh, what's her face? Without the eyes. Without the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like somehow she continues living. No, but she died though, right? Because didn't it? Well, the snake bitter. No, because she left her in the trailer yeah, with a snake, yeah. and at the end when they were doing the, I think it's a question mark, right? Like you didn't, you don't know. Yeah, so you, you don't know. know. She, she don't might know. still be alive. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, she's just yeah, she's just flopping around, yeah. and the snake. You see the, the the picture of the snake. Yeah, and that's it. You don't know yeah. she died. Yeah. So yeah, she could be a new. She could still be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She'd be like, look, I learned how to hold my shit. Yeah. I'm badass. Mm. I'm here to kill your mom. <laughs> but I'm gonna train you first. She trains a little girl. Mm-hmm. Oh no, what's her face? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, that could be cool. Yeah. Like she goes, oh, I heard you can help me, but yeah. I'm blind. What can I do? Mm-hmm. And she trains her. Oh, and that's where she, she she collected fucking Hanzo swords. Yeah. Remember she was buying it from uh, mm-hmm. Bud or whatever? So she has them. So she has them so she can give her a sword, right? Give her a sword. <laughs> it's all there. And be like, this is the first one I ever took. <laughs> I took it from the cold, dead hands of a Yakuza. <laughs> the one of the first original Hanzo sword. Or some <laughs> yeah. mystical bullshit with the sword. <laughs> I'm in. Yeah. We can write this. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Uma Thurman, and you're out there. Call me. Yeah, let's just do this. We're doing this. Yeah. <laughs> Quentin Tarantino, who? Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't need it. It'll be fine. Oh. We'll give us some thanks at the end. Yeah, I remember he stole it from the from manga anyway. Yeah, right. You know? So it's cool. <laughs> Don't worry about it. What was it? The, se- the Seven Deadly Vipers or like? The, the Bride. The name of the yeah. manga was The Bride. Oh, yeah. That's the series. Yeah. The Bride and the Seven Deadly Vipers. That's another book. Yeah. And then The Bride and the Whirlwind Hurricane Adventures. <laughs> and then The Bride and the Willy Wonka Factory. The Willy Wonka. I'm here for you, Charlemagne. <laughs> and your Oompa Loompas, too. Oompa Loompa. I, I saw a clip. He was on some talk show, and they ran a clip of that Wonka movie. No. And there's this whole thing where I guess they're trying to make chocolate, mm-hmm. and they don't have milk. And he's got, like, a little buddy. Like, he's got a little, like, this little orphan girl. And she's all like, oh, she goes to this. Wait, well, I thought they were Oompa Loompas. No, no, there's really one Oompa Loompa in the whole movie, oh. right? So, so he's got this little orphan, like, mm-hmm. sidekick. And so she goes and she runs up to, like, someone's porch. And she pulls a bottle of milk. And she's like, there we go, we got milk. And he's like, he's like, no, no, that's stealing. Like, I don't steal. And he goes, A, I don't steal. And then he goes, and he goes, C, I don't make chocolate with cow milk. Uh, and you're like, what does he make it with? <laughs> Uh, where's B? Yeah, right. yeah. They skip B. Like it's it's weird, and and I'm just like, did they do that just to like make? Oh, he's weird. Like he's all like. Is the, there gonna be a lot of that? Uh, probably. He's gonna make it with cow milk. I make it from tofu. Yeah, or so. I make it from soybean <laughs> paste. <laughs> oh man, don't tell me he's gonna be all like you know vegan out and shit. I don't think so. 
Oh, well, yeah. apparently it's a direct prequel. Uh-huh. Like it's 20 years before Charlie and Jack Factory. Oh, uh, before he became bitter and didn't care about yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> he wouldn't kill, kill children. Yeah. <laughs> he murdered children. You know, it's funny. I, uh, I was talking to someone earlier, and then I made a freaking uh, Pennywise joke. Uh. And go, because she, she says we wear a, a raincoat. And I said, like, I'm like, oh, stay away from fucking sewer grates. Ha, 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 you know. And she responded, if it's the Tim Curry one, I'll go with him. Uh. Right. But when she typed, she wrote, if it's the Tim Burden one, I'll go with him. And I'm like, what? And she was like, I mean, Tim Curry. And I was like, oh, I'm like, oh, I was going to make a Johnny Depp joke. <laughs> like, Because like, if Tim Burden made. It. Yeah, it'd be Johnny, Johnny Depp. Depp would be fucking Pennywise, right? Johnny Depp would be Pennywise. <laughs> I had that or his wife. It's <laughs> only two recurring characters. Do you know who Johnny Depp is dating right now? Uh, Amanda Hirsch? No. <laughs> her name is. Uh, A boy? She, no, she's in the, the new freaking Beetlejuice. He's dating Monica Bellucci. Oh, shit. <laughs> Daughter of fucking Jim Belushi? No. <laughs> And it's so fucking weird mm. because you see him on the red carpet and he's all giddy and shit. Like he's looking like all happy and like. <laughs> she's not crazy, maybe. I don't know, man. I don't really know Malika Belushi is right now. She's the the uh, um, the one that you know her from is uh oh remember um, shit was the name of that movie with Clive Owen and Paul Giamatti uh <laughs> when they're the chef. No, no, when they're like they're, they're, it's, a, it's a gun movie. Um, it's a gun movie. Fuck, what is it called? And Paul Giamatti is in the gun movie? Yeah, it's Clive Owen, Clive Owen Paul Giamatti. I think it's uh, Paul Giamatti is a bad guy? Yeah. And uh, Clive Owen's a good guy. Yeah, and he's like eating carrots and he's like... Yeah, like, uh, yeah uh, Rock and Roller? No, no it was uh, Rock and Roller. Uh, it was... Uh, fuck, I forgot. It came after Rock and Roller. Around that time, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember. And that's all you yeah, had. The yeah, whole yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, remember he ends up like picking up that... that uh, his buddy's like a prostitute. Because mm-hmm. he's taking care of the baby. Right. Yeah, that's my community. That's rock and roller. Is that rock and roller? Did they take care of a baby in that one too? No. <laughs> oh, hold on. The Let tank me. and the babies. Yeah, they, they, they take it to the tank. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I know the movie. It's just I don't. I thought it was rock and roller. <laughs> it was rock and roller. It is called. No gun salute or two gun akimbo. Shoot him up. Shoot him up. There Shoot him up. I was close. So. My Bellucci. Oh, <laughs> nothing like Jim Bellucci. Oh, her. She's in the Matrix. She's yeah, 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 yeah. The second the, one. Yeah. Yeah. The French chick. Yeah. Yeah. She's made that French dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Tim Burton is fucking dating her right now. Tim Burton? Tim Burton. Oh, not Danny Depp? No. Tim Burton. Dating her. Fucking Edward Scissorhands himself. <laughs> it's weird. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. You know what? It gives me hope. <laughs> oh, it's ugly weird. <laughs> 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 We're out there. Yeah, she's in, she's in the movie. I don't know who she's playing. But his wife. Like, okay, Beatrice's wife? I mean... That'd be cool. <sighs> or his mother. Because <laughs> I heard the rumor of Willem Dafoe. Wait, so he, he divorced that other mm-hmm. crazy name? Oh, a while ago. A long, long time ago? Uh, What's her name? Uh, Helen Bonham Carter. Yeah, that's a long name. Yeah. Yeah, really? Yeah, a long time ago. Oh. Mm-hmm. But he still comes out in his, his movies and shit. No, it should not come out in a while. No. no. What's the last thing? The Dallas and Wonder Woman? Uh, maybe. That was probably There's a, a sequel time. to that, right? Yeah. yeah. It's a long time ago. Yeah. Hmm. I forgot he made two of those, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That one's basically a mad header. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it's Johnny Depp. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best pal in the world. Johnny Depp. This guy's going to give him movies. Like, it says, uh, there's a, there's a, uh, a meme where it's like Tim Burton looks confused. Yeah. And then it says... What do you mean? There's more actors than just Johnny Depp, and then the, the, the picture of Johnny Depp looking like, oh, like, oh no, yeah. <laughs> someone outed me. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, the last thing I saw Johnny Depp was on his uh, Hulu commercial where he he plays a, a guitar <laughs> with two wolves. <laughs> and survive, but why? Survive, dude. Those freaking um, like cologne commercials or whatever are yeah. so weird. Have you seen the one with Adam Driver? There's an Adam Driver one. And like, <laughs> he's on the beach and there's a horse mm-hmm. and he's fucking racing the horse. Like he's running in, and then he jumps in the ocean and he's like swimming. What the hell? And then there's a shot where like the sunset's going down and he's standing in front of the horse. Mm. But the way it's angled, he looks like a fucking... Horseman? Like, yeah. <laughs> the the sense sense war? Yeah. Right. <laughs> and I'm like, what is it? And it's like some whatever, some perfume. Or, Chanel. Yeah. Right. <laughs> number five. 
Chanel number seven yeah. smells like a horse's butt. <laughs> it's so weird, man. Yeah, I don't yeah, get it. Yeah, no, I don't get no, it. I, uh, I've not seen that one, but yeah. I'm looking forward to it's it. It's amazing. All right, cool. M Driver. <laughs> Is it is it as weird as having Terry Crews fucking doing Old Spice? Commercials? But that's funny though. Like that's yeah. like that, that, this is like old oh, is avant garde. Serious? Yeah. Huh? Oh, oh yeah. No, I, this I thought it was funny. No. Wait. So this Savai thing with Danny, that's serious. That's serious. Oh man, I've been laughing at the wrong thing then. Savai. Savai. But Play rock and roll. Oh, man, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. He needs money. He does. He yeah. does a lot of money, man. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking, uh, what's her name? Amanda Bynes or... Amanda Bynes. Amanda Heard. Uh, Amber Heard. Amber Heard. Amber, Amber, yeah. yeah. That bird. Yeah. She fucked him over. She, she shit in his bed. She shit in his bed. She literally shit in his bed. <laughs> like, very few times, you know, you use that term, like, oh, you shit the bed. You know, yeah. Like, you, but she, she literally... She <laughs> shit the bed, and figuratively. Yeah. That's a two for one yeah. for right there. See, you know what's funny? Like, like, like so that Aquaman movie's coming out this week, right? <sighs> and... Are we going to go see it? Eventually. Right. <laughs> it's, I like that it's not one of the uh, our priorities. No. It's a, and it's like... Five dollar matinee. You know the thing is with the movie, though? Mm. The thing that has me the most interested, I'm like, what are they going to do with her? I heard they cut like, yeah, they, a lot and of and her. Yeah, and they have to do something with her. They have to yeah. explain why she's not there, right? Yeah, <laughs> she's out leading the troops yeah. and over there somewhere, yeah. you know? Because I think, I think it, it, because it's not connecting to like, a bigger thing anymore, yeah. You don't need to kill her off, right? Like it, it doesn't really matter. Like you know, no. like you know. So I'm and just, he has a baby already. Yeah, it's a baby. Yeah. yeah. So which I think is so weird. Like we I don't need her anymore. A lot of the, a lot of the early readers are saying like like oh, that baby's too white. Like oh. you know, like that baby's too white because he's like, Jason Momoa, <laughs> your dad. Like you know, like <laughs> he was born underwater where light doesn't touch. The, the, <laughs> come on, the mom is white and redheaded. Yeah, and, she's super redheaded. You know. Her DNA could be her dad. Her dad is redheaded, Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> That's true. Mm. Remember, it it's the dad that has a chromosome to make sure you're a boy or girl. Mm. It's your mom's traits that are no. usually more no. susceptible. To uh, you know, Atlanteans. Who knows how that works? Yeah, you know, like, it's, <laughs> it's even worse. It's even worse. It might be a clam at one point. You know, <laughs> yeah, clam DNA inside. <laughs> You know, I feel bad for those, like, what's it, fucking Patrick Wilson? Mm -hmm. Because, like, they've been doing uh, oh. promotions for it. Yeah. And, like, they've been doing TikToks. And fucking Momo was, like, dancing and shit. And fucking Patrick Wilson, like, he looks so it's fucking, like, out, out of it. Like, out like, of it. <laughs> See, that, is, that is not his jam. Yeah. <laughs> Momo, happy as a fish. Yeah. Though, you know, excuse the pun, but happy as a fish. Yeah. Happy as a clam. But that guy, nah. <laughs> I just saw that one, by the way. He's not happy. Yeah, he's just like, oh, like, <laughs> He's like, ah, I can't do, just go back to some Conjuring movies. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I'm fine. No. No. Conjuring. Is that Conjuring or Insidious? I think he's in both. Really? I think so. Because Insidious, he plays the dad, and yeah. the Conjuring, he plays more in. I've never movie. seen any of the Insidious movies. I've seen. When the last Conjuring movie came uh, out, it was like that same, like the same day as Theaters and HBO Max. Uh, uh. So I watched them all. Okay. I watched them all, and. I like the main ones. Mm -hmm. The the spin-offs are weird. Okay, it makes no sense. Like I just love the fact that the spin-offs, my favorite part is at the end where you're like, oh, that's how it connects. Cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> like the Yorona one, like there's yeah. a nun scene in there, or something yeah. weird like What's that. the same priest or some shit? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I watched all those as they came along. Yeah. And I, I enjoyed those. I enjoyed mm -hmm. But Insidious, a couple of weeks ago, I was sick. Mm -hmm. Home. I was home yeah. sick, right? Yeah. They're, they're all last binge, whatever, yeah. on HBO or something. Yeah. Like there's like three of them, right? Like there's five of them. Okay. In total. Okay. They had the first three on there. Mm -hmm. I watched them back to back to back. Yeah. I watched the first one a long time ago when it first came. I'm yeah. like, this is so fucking dumb. Yeah. But when you watch them back to back to back, <laughs> you're like, this is amazing. <laughs> the grand narrative yeah, yeah, comes yeah. out, and you're like, oh. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's all I'm gonna say about that. No, because the first one ends with such a cliffhanger, you're like, this is so stupid. Yeah, but then so you, dumb. But you get the second one, you're like, yeah. huh? <laughs> and then you get that third one, you're yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a four and a five. Yeah, because one came out last last year, right? Last year, or, yeah, 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 yeah. I've not seen four and five yet, mm -hmm. but I need to see four <laughs> and five. See them. <laughs> They're not on any streaming service not right yet. now, not yeah. yet. Yeah. yeah. But as soon as they are, I'm. You gotta over watch that. those. Yeah, they're no longer on HBO because it was the last to watch. Whatever yeah, that was yeah, the last yeah, thing. Yeah. So, 
I'm thinking box set. Box set. It's yeah, it's yeah. It's 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 box set. I didn't do the paranormal. Yeah. I didn't do it with <laughs> fucking conjuring. And city is box yeah. set. Yeah. I think it's the only series I ever followed the paranormal. I followed it completely. Like I went to when it went cheesy and like the end. Like I went me, yeah. me and Francesca went to the three D one. And that was the only time I was like, we gotta fucking watch it in three D. Yeah. Like it's it's made for that, right? <laughs> And like there were very few yeah. things there in 3D. Yeah, but it was worth it. I, I enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Paranormal yeah. activity, yeah, solid. Yeah, you know, it fucked yeah. with you a little bit, not too much. No, no. It's just like as they made more, it became mm-hmm. teasier and teasier. And then they based one on East LA somewhere. Yeah, no, it was, it was in uh, <laughs> or whatever it was. That's my favorite one, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. It's so it's so campy. It's good. Like I always joke about how like I didn't watch that one. Mm-hmm. And it was on it was on um, video. And I remember watching it and I'm just like, all right, whatever. Ghost watch. And then in the the one the um what was it called? The marked one. That's what it was called, the marked one. Oh, that's the yeah, that's the one. That's the one with the with the, the freaking Latino kid gets oh. fucking cursed or right. So the one after that is Ghost Dimension. Yeah, no, the three D one is Ghost Dimension. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um but <laughs> in the marked one, at one point the witches from the, the all the other movies, they yeah. kidnap him because he's got the demon inside of him or whatever, right? Uh, uh, uh. And so her friends, they go... They time travel, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> all right, anyway. Uh-huh. And his friends freaking go and they're like, oh, we got to get a ride. We got to, you know, blah, blah, blah. and then uh, they they like, oh, call my cousin. And these two fucking big old cholo dudes, right? And they pull out guns. And at one point in the movie... There's fucking witches like flying and they're just shooting at them and I'm like, dude, this is the movie. Like this is like, <laughs> like it shouldn't be called Paranormal Activity Totals versus Witches. I would have watched the shit out of that. La brujas de los pinos. Yeah, right. Matos contra las brujas. Las you know what? Let's be Katie Phoenix on this and one. Just, just do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Fuck Chola Vampire, dude. <laughs> Ghost witches. Dude, Cholas and witches. and witches, yeah. Do what about... Okay, I got it. I got it. Like a gang, a Cholo mm-hmm. gang, right? Mm-hmm. But they hunt monsters in East LA. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It could be one of those, like, <laughs> secret service gangster things. Like, it's not a main gang yeah. thing. But when, like, Weird shit happens. They call upon this other, yeah. you know, like they're not taggers. They're not. Yeah. They're not up to the the gang yeah, shit. Yeah. But, you know, well, you, like you got this old like, you know, like the, ghost beaters. The, yeah, the ghost beaters. You got this old troll. You got the old troll in the wheelchair, right? Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, you need to take up the mantle now, right? It's gotta be more. It's gotta yeah. be more. You know, because cholas, eh, brujas, you know, there are yeah. a lot of yeah. old ladies who mm-hmm. used to be like brujas, and they know a little bit of Santeria yeah. here and there, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of those brujas. Ended up with gangster kids, right? Yeah, there's, yeah. there's, there's always, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. there's always that connection. Oh, like, like oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so, the, so gangsters win magic, what you're saying? <laughs> I'm just saying, they know a little bit of this nah, and yeah, that, yeah. you know, that's how they're going to beat the brujas mm-hmm, later on, you know? Mm-hmm. We could, I oh, hear it here, okay? It might be a little racist, though. Right. <laughs> <laughs> when I say things like that, it's always uh, racist. Uh, anyway, the, the brujas, you know, yeah. peace in East LA because these brujas yeah. are in gangsters to have peace and harmony. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, these Jewish witches come back <laughs> oh, no, to East no. LA because, you know, it used to be a prominent Jewish yeah, community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. East LA, before mm-hmm, it was Hispanic, mm-hmm. was prominently Jewish. Yeah, uh-huh. A little Chinese here and there as well. Yeah, yeah. So they got these Jewish <laughs> brujas coming back, you know, <laughs> and they're going to fight and they take out most of these Mexican brujas and you know, yeah. maybe leave one or two behind. Yeah. So now it's up to these vatos who are sons of these yeah. brujas to take, uh, <laughs> they, fight up these, yeah, fight yeah, these yeah. Jewish witches. And they're using little and spells the, here. And, and they there. start like unleashing monsters and shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> the golem. Yeah, you know, right. You know, some sort of weird uh, <laughs> Muslim monster. Well, some sort I loved of, it, know? right? East Palestine. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. <laughs> they're saying the Korean things, right? They, they ever tell you one time, hmm. me and Patrick were coming home one night. It was like late. Yeah. It was like 1 a.m. And Sabruja flying. We were driving down the street. Yeah. And there was no one on the street. And I took a turn, and there was this old lady, long white hair, long white dress, just walking in the middle of the street. Mm-hmm. And Patrick was like, turn around. <laughs> like, like, don't don't go that way. <laughs> yep. And we literally went around the block to avoid it. <laughs> and when you went around, she was gone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Happens all the time. Yeah. All the time. Fuck that. Fucking area. <laughs> Sometimes the brujas del pino, they're yeah. up there. They're, they're, they're up there. Yeah. 
right above cinco puntos mm-hmm. bunch of witches damn yeah yeah All not them, good they fly around they fly around and do everything <laughs> i just go up and like oh hey yeah what's up like, uh, like school yeah. <laughs> All right, bye. Throw a black cat at you. <laughs> cool, thanks. <laughs> I'll treat it well. <laughs> That's on cool with the witches. Mm-hmm. 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 So anyway, Brujas versus Bartos. <laughs> Who was it? If you remember, there was that big old controversy when like La Llorona came out because it was like the main actress, like, it was like a white actress, right? Oh, now. right. And you got all upset and yeah, shit. Yeah, it's like, makeup, dude. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Dude, at all. Yeah. You know what I always thought? Like, I always joked around with um, the idea of doing, especially when Spider-Verse was a big thing. Uh-huh. I was like, oh, what's your fucking East LA Spider-Man? That'd be cool, right? And I had this idea back in my head. I'm like, I don't know if people would, would feel about this, but, like, you do the fucking La Llorona and, like, just combine it like, Hydro-Man, right? Because <laughs> he was a grounder kids in the river, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, and yeah. she, like, made up water. Like, you yeah, know, yeah, you know, yeah. like, she always looks like she's wet. <laughs> and I was like, that'd be kind of fun, I <laughs> think. But I don't know if people would take that though. <laughs> I think it'd be cool. Yeah, right. right. I'd call them like uh, so, like was it what, Hydro Man? Uh, instead of Hydro Man, it'd be like Agua or Aqua, Aqua Tristeza. Yeah, you go right. <laughs> that'd be crazy. Can imagine like the hair all made on water. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> be interesting. That'd be interesting. Yeah, yeah. So you you turn the Yorona into that. What about like like the Chupacabra? Oh, it had to be like maybe like Venom. Don't say Venom. No, maybe like that Scorpion, maybe or like. Mm. Or if you want to go real deep cuts, was it, then was it was it Vermin or like oh, fucking, yeah. or Jackal or something, right? Mm-hmm. Like you know that'd be kind of neat. We could do Jackal. Yeah, yeah. Be... Jackal was always weird to me though because it was like, he was like, doing a Jackal costume, but he was like a physicist, a bioengineer. Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was weird. Kirk Lancer was a man bat. Shit. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't turn into a Jackal. He oh, literally no, he wore, wore a, a fucking Jackal costume. <laughs> Truth. Yeah. Like I was like, okay, yeah. cool. Mm-hmm. But he is super smart. Yeah, he cloned fucking Spider Man. Eccentrics, man. Yeah, Eccentrics. That's what yeah. it is. I I thought I was watching, they were saying that like, oh all super villains would be like you could solve all super villains by just giving them fucking funding. Cause all they are is like fucking mad scientists like I need to do this and you won't give me money, so I'm gonna steal it and, and take over the world. <laughs> take over the world. Right? So like you have all the funding in the world. Yeah. Fuck it, look. <laughs> I hate fucking scientists. <laughs> That's the, what is that? That's the one difference between us, uh, us, uh, what's it called? The cutting edge scientist and a mad scientist. It's funny. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. But here's the thing. If they all built these like super big ass freaking yeah. destroying machines, mm-hmm. what's keeping them from still building it now with government funding? No, because they wouldn't re- need to. Like, they, It's all about like, like they want to prove their genius and shit, okay. right? But if you tell them, like, all right, go build the thing and, yeah. you know. Yeah. I'll build the death ray. Yeah. All right, you build it. Now what? Yeah. <laughs> Die. Because I was, watching, I was watching this documentary about how that's why the space race was a thing. Like, mm. why, why why we were trying to beat Russia to the moon. Because mm. we were afraid that Russia was going to put fucking missiles on the moon. Mm. And Russia was afraid we were going to put a fucking death ray on the moon, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. And I'm like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> no, no. It's called a, it's called the Cold War for yeah. a reason. I was like, oh. We're all fucking... That's like super, that's a super villain shit right there, man. Suffering for hyperthermia and yeah. shit, yeah. Just Delusional. To to, just to go to the moon. Mm-hmm. And we all knew it was hollow for yeah. Nazis anyway, yeah. so what's it's the like point? An, it's metal. Yeah, yeah. hollow yeah. and metal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why it goes gong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, full of Nazis and dinosaurs. I heard, like, Miguel was sending me a video about that. Like, like oh, they set off a bomb on the moon. And, and, it, went gong. and it rang, and I'm like, dude, there's no sound in fucking space. Like, you're like, <laughs> like what the fuck are you talking about? Like, it can resonate. There can be vibrations off it, but there yeah. you will not hear it. No, and there's you, no oxygen. And, and you could, how was it? You can translate the resonance or the the, yeah. rate, the frequency into a sound. Yeah. You know, but it's it's not a sound. And the closest thing they had to that was that gong sound yeah. Yeah. from the frequencies that it resonated. Mm. And that's why people say it's hollow because yeah. it's making that make gong it, yeah, sound. Yeah. But in fact, it's full of Nazis <laughs> and dinosaurs. <laughs> Jesus Christ, conspiracies. <laughs> we gotta talk more about conspiracies, man. Like cool conspiracies though. Like yeah. not not like like oh the election was stolen. <laughs> shit. No, I'm talking like, you know, the whole missing book of Enoch in the yeah, fucking Bible yeah, where yeah. it tells you the story of Moses, the actual long mm, story. The of Forty Moses. years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, how he was actually born a, 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 like Jesus before Jesus. Yeah. You know, that's why, you know, certain people would say, you know, he's the real Messiah. 
Oh, he would. Or they found him in the fucking river and shit, right? No, like, that's that, that's after. That's when he was sent to to the Egyptians mm-hmm. to become part of a pharaoh. And that you're talking about Moses here. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about Enoch. Oh, the yeah. book of Enoch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enoch tells you more about Moses. He tells you that when Moses was actually born, 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 he was a child of light. Oh, and he yeah. was he was he was born out of wedlock, like kind of like Jesus was. Mm-hmm. And then after, yeah, they, well, they sent him down the Nile. The yeah. Egyptians picked him up. Yeah. And he became a you know, fight for your yeah, kind yeah. of guy. And he, like, made those four Jews walk around for 40 years in the desert. <laughs> yeah, and in the book of Enoch, it tells you about Noah and how mm-hmm. he, Noah was also, like, a, 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 a being. A, a, no. a, 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 he was a half Anunnaki and half human. Oh, so that's why he was also like a being of light, mm-hmm. and that's why Moses was chosen to, yeah. to get to a beach animal and save the world. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. And they found where the ark was fucking there. Yeah. Thirty cubits high and thirty no. cubits wide. No. Amazing. It, see that thing that where uh, I forgot I forgot what state it was. Yeah. But that they they got government funding to build an a, actual ark, an actual ark mm-hmm. as a museum to, her, and then there was a flood recently and it fucking got destroyed. <laughs> It didn't have divine <laughs> tools, yeah, right. like Jesus' tools. Yeah. yeah. This and more <laughs> on next week's Hobby Central. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I think we're done with the reels, by the way. Are we? Yeah. I keep going. Yeah, we can. <laughs> we could do two hours and then just cut them into two parts. That's true. We could do that. I think I'm going to start doing that next mm, season. That's a good idea. Yeah. Then we just talk for two hours. Maybe to be continued. <laughs> Previously on yeah. X-Men. <laughs> More. Thank you. Me too. It. Damn it. That first season, most of the episodes started that way. More. <laughs> That's the reason I use that joke repeatedly. Yeah. yeah. Or more. My, my best buddy in the whole wide world. <laughs> See, that's what they should have done. They should have done, like Disney Plus should have done a prequel. To the X-Men? To we, so we can see him hanging out with more. Right? Cause he's just this dude we meet one time, fucking dies. Like, yeah. we don't, he's just a dude we meet. Then he dies, and like, we're supposed to care about that? Like, he's not like a... He was Wolverine's best friend. Do we know that? Like, it's just this We fun. were told by Wolverine when he said... <laughs> more of my best friend. My best friend. Oh, you think he like you would, left you, up. You think he would get drunk and be like turn into Gene? <laughs> like, <laughs> First of all, he can't get drunk. Yeah, he can. Well, we can't get he drunk. Get he drunk. has a healing factor that he, fucking makes him not. Not in the cartoon. Drunk. He had a healing factor, but he would get hurt. Like they would like put him in the, in the emergency room or whatever. <laughs> Bandages. Yeah, yeah. He didn't have a cool healing factor. No, he technically wouldn't. he couldn't. But yeah. uh, all right, just for the sake of saying, yes, he would. You think you tell me? Not just that. He'd be like, Gene today, storm tomorrow. You know, <laughs> that chick we met at the mall the other day. Go for it, more. <laughs> Go for it, more. Yeah. More. And that's why he's his best friend, you know? And then we get high together. Lady Mor- Shiva. Morph's like, ah, oh, all right. But I'm be Blackheart today, though. <laughs> no, Morph, no. <laughs> oh, like, that's why he was so sad, right? Because he's only, the only weirdo would hang out with him, right? Because <laughs> before Jubilee got there, and like, nobody wanted to hang out with him. He says that weird Canadian, those yeah. short Canadian dudes. Little short hairy like dudes. Yeah. <laughs> he hangs out with bees. Looks like bees and yeah. less hairy. I don't think bees would hang out with him. He's like, oh, this dude. <laughs> He's like, bees, Be- bees is too sophisticated, man. He would not hang out with like, Wolverine. <sighs> yeah, I guess yeah. you could say that. But he was, uh, the, the cartoon beast was very, very uh, eloquent. Yeah. yeah. He was in jail like the first season, right? <laughs> the, All whole, of it. the whole first season. Yeah. <laughs> they benched him because I think he was too yeah. strong. Yeah. Yeah, and he was happily in jail too. But the thing too, like, so he got shot. Yeah. The same way Morph did, he just got like knocked out, right? And then mm-hmm. Morph fucking died. Right? Allegedly. Yeah. Yeah. And so they brought him back. That's what he's, I saw that meme where like they're like, oh, Morph sacrificed himself for the guy they could heal, <laughs> right? Wolverine, no. <laughs> excited for that the X Men ninety seven? No. Really? Not really. Why not? <sighs> you know what? Because X Men was weird when no. my relationship with the X Men cartoon, it left me once. Yeah, it left broke my heart. Uh-huh. No more cartoons. But yeah. then they brought it back the last season, right? Mm-hmm. They did a whole last mm-hmm. season, mm-hmm. which was totally different. Yeah, totally completely different. Yeah. It was not the same person I knew. No. you know. So I was kind of heartbroken again. <laughs> mm-hmm. So and then it just ends mm-hmm. with some weird Jubilee and stuck in the tunnel episode. Yeah, ends heartbroken again. It wasn't meant to be. Yeah. Now you're gonna give it to me twenty years later. Yeah. I don't think you can. Come back. That kind of heartbreak. Come back. No. Original cast, uh-huh. you know, uh-huh. you know, more. 
Unless it starts with the word shock at the beginning of it, <laughs> I'm not really going to care about it. It's going to be cool, man. It's, it's a man, full-on anime. It's going to be cool. Nah. <laughs> Unless Rogue has that big old caboose. <laughs> I hate those memes, dude. They know what they were doing. I hate they're those memes. Those animators knew what they were doing. So much, because that explains so much my fucking problem with redheads, you know? <laughs> you know what? Like, I was rewatching it. I was rewatching those episodes, and I always thought it was funny that there was, like, scenes when, like, they were just, like, out and about. Like, yeah. you know, like, they weren't, you know, fighting or, right? And Rogue would be, like, in this fucking tank top and short shorts, but she had gloves on. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Crop top. Yeah. Daisy Dukes. Mm-hmm. And just fucking gloves. Yellow gloves. Yeah, yellow gloves, yeah. <laughs> fucking dishwasher fucking <laughs> hand gloves and shit. Because that's where her power is. Mm-hmm. She got the gravity. No, but just in general. Right? I know. Yeah. I know. I know. I love to because it was just because of the way the character was designed. Mm. Like she'd be in her civilian clothes, mm. but she would still have that fucking headband. <laughs> because that's just her character design. Like you can't change that. Nope. You change the clothes and leave the head on. Yeah. Oh. It's going to be good, man. It's going to be fun. Uh, yeah. It's going to be fun. I'll watch it. I'll watch two episodes. I don't know. You're going to be into it. You're going to be like, you're going to be full in. Yeah. You're going to be like. You're going to be like, oh, look, Charles came back from the shark trip. He was gone. He was gone for a little bit. You yeah. Know, yeah. Yeah. And little Lander having problems. So, you know. Yeah. Like, so he came back. He came back. Hang out with his real okay. children. Okay. The star, the star jammers gave him a ride, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and said, don't come back to Riverdale no more. <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> of course, they're like, oh, you want to see your son? No, 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 no. Oh, my God. <laughs> God. And those guys are dicks. <laughs> God. Yeah. Like, I stay in space for a reason. <laughs> yeah. In that case, I'm excited now. Yeah. It's, it's going to be it's great. It's going to be great. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Uh, looking forward to that family drama. Yeah. More. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Anyway, mm-hmm. we're out of real. All right. Anything else? I'm good. You're good? Good. Happy New Year to anyone to listen. Happy New Year. This should be our probably second episode of the New Year. Oh. Well, it should have been until yeah. that last episode thing, yeah. so it's going to be our first episode. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, anyway, so, it's so it's 2024. <gasps> 2024. Wow. It looks so yeah. the same. That alien invasion was crazy. Yeah, 2023. The yeah. Alien invasion but we, we, we did it, guys. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that, that Christmas invasion of yeah. 2023. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was nuts. All the Martians needed a, a Santa or something. <laughs> and they took fucking Taylor Swift. Yeah. And they were cool. Oh, no. <laughs> Not the tea sizzle. <laughs> I mean, we, you know, she sacrificed herself mm-hmm. for the earth. They took Kamala Harris. Oh, yeah. Really? Her yeah, too? Yeah, too, because oh. she's a Swifty. Is she? I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it took all the Swifties. <laughs> so there was a Taylor Swift concert in the theaters. Uh huh. And there was the Beyonce one. Uh huh. Is that like a shared thing? Like, or, or, shared universe? Or are they, they, are they like, a, a fucking, like, you know, the fans are like, you know, like, oh, no, you can only be one or the other? I think it's a. Like, <laughs> I think the hardcore ones are one or the yeah, other, yeah, yeah. but there's those people who just enjoy yeah, 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 okay. genre, if you will. Oh, okay. At my job job, they had a whole viewing party, oh. and you had to sign up the day before, and you had to stand in line at one, and it started at four. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And seats were limited. To watch the Taylor Swift one? Yeah. Oh, I kind of wanted to see who was there, but I was scared yeah, of those yeah, things, uh, so I decided not to. Just join up, man. Just go all in. <laughs> no. Just do it. No. You know what? No, because no. all those girls are, are just filled with heartbreak. That's why. No. <laughs> no, man. They're, they're, just, they're just mulling. It's just, they just want the next boy to rip them apart. That's, that's, that's what they want to do. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. what they want to do. Yeah. These are dangerous, homie. That's fine, man. All right. <laughs> I'll get you one for your next birthday. I'm good, man. I'm nah, good. No, you good. seem like you're willing to enjoy it. No, I, I I couldn't name a Taylor Swift song to save my life. I know that. <laughs> baby, baby, woo. That's like Justin Bieber, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm canceled. <laughs> baby, <laughs> Why do you know that one? It's the only one I know. Oh. It's a Justin Bieber song. I had a coworker who used to just sing that randomly oh. at all times. So, oh, oh, uh, yeah, oh, oh. he kind of still does. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, interesting. Like, he, like he'll he'll be working on a computer mm-hmm. in the other room. Like, mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> it's like his celebration mark. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. That's what he does when he celebrates. Mm. You think I'm weird, dude? Yeah. <laughs> I work with some of the weirdest <laughs> boys in the fucking world, dude. They're amazing. That's fine. That's yeah. funny. They're fucking weirdos. Yeah. Hopefully they don't listen to this shit. We should tell them. No. Bring them on. What the fuck? Yeah. Baby. <laughs> like Jose, what is it like being 
a number one no one really cares for. <laughs> uh, what is it like doing all this work and no one really caring for it? Sad. Baby, <laughs> baby. <laughs> you keep it up, Justin Bieber's going to sue us, man. I only have 30 seconds. I got 20 more seconds to go. <laughs> okay, in that case, let's end it. All right. All right. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much, and I'll talk to you for the rest of the next year. All right. There you go. Have a good night. Good night. Bye.